Hola veggie lovers, I'm Amelia and JP is behind the camera. Welcome to Lotta Veg, our plant-based cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my easy peasy black eyed peas. If you're joining us from our other channel, Amelia and JP, our unconventional life in Ecuador, hola unconventionals! If you're new to Lotta Veg, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, you'll get notified on all of our upcoming cooking videos. All right, today I'm going to make my easy peasy black eyed peas. This is one of my favorite dishes and JP's too. I love it because it's super versatile. And I like to say, is it a soup or is it a stew? It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna explain why as we go along. But first I wanna let you know I have all of my ingredients assembled. So this is going to come together quite nicely. And on that note, JP, I'm ready to start cooking. All right, well, let's get busy. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is add in, this is a quarter cup of water. Uh, we don't have any veggie broth, unfortunately, but water works just fine. A tablespoon of minced garlic, and I'm going to toss in an onion that JP also chopped. He wanted me to make sure you guys knew he helped. He yeah. was my sous chef today. <laughs> I want my credit. <laughs> <laughs> so I used a yellow onion. You can use whatever onion makes you happy. So I'm just going to give that a quick stir, and I'm going to cover this. And why are you covering it, Amelia? So that all the water does not evaporate, <laughs> or the liquid, I should say. If you're using broth, you can, um, I suppose you could use some white wine too, but I'd rather drink it than cook with it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this needs to uh, steam fry for like three minutes. Amelia was just giving me a hard time because I didn't cut the carrots small enough for her. And I said, it doesn't matter how big or small they are, they're chopped. That's what she told me to do. You're right, but I usually chop them in smaller pieces. Does it really matter? No. Equifinality. It does not. That's the beauty of this recipe is not that big of a deal. <laughs> All right. Yep, looks good. So our carrots are looking nice and soft. Those are carrots? Wow. I mean carrots, <laughs> onions. Those yes, are... they're, the, they're the special variety of white carrot. <laughs> now I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt, which is optional. If you're watching your salt intake, you certainly do not need to use salt. And I have a teaspoon of thyme. I have a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of chipotle. Are you sure a teaspoon of thyme is enough? We can always use more thyme. Ha ha. <laughs> half teaspoon of oregano, oops, and a half teaspoon of paprika. And so I'm just gonna cook these in our pot for about a minute just to get them to start to release of their delicious fragrance. And you'll notice I am not using any oil. JP and I rarely cook with oil because it adds so much more calories and also JP has really high cholesterol, even eating a plant-based diet, so we try to minimize it as much as possible. It smells, it smells so amazing. good. I know, all of a sudden, all the smells just opened up. That's the problem with having a cooking channel is you can't smell the cooking. Yes, so now we want to add in the carrots. And the peas. It's on a horius. Y las bocas negras. Yes. That's how you say black eyed peas in Espanol, bocas negras. They have like three different names for the black eyed peas. The only ones I can remember are the bocas negras, which I find is interesting since uh, that means black mouth. Black but mouth. I guess it kind of looks like a little, like a little smiley face. Yeah. All right, so this is a pound of peas. I had made a big patch of peas a couple weeks ago. So I had two pounds that I soaked and then cooked and I put half of them in the freezer. So these are the ones that I pulled out of the freezer and defrosted and then drained them. You can certainly use fresh, or I'm sorry, canned peas if you wanted. Just make sure you rinse and drain those. Or you can use dried peas and just throw them in here and just know you're gonna need to cook this for a lot longer. But now, JP, we need to add water. So I'm using six cups of water or you could use vegetable broth. And as you can see, this is definitely a little more soup-like. If you wanna make this more stew-like, you can just use uh, four to five cups of water. So right now we're going to simmer this over low heat and stir occasionally until the peas are nice and soft and tender, and carrots, of course. And look, we I have know. a guest. I know, a, wow. A surprise guest appearance. Daisy, where are you going? When I was a kid, my mom made black-eyed peas every New Year's Day for good luck although I didn't like them. She had a ham hock that she would put in hers, but we don't eat meat, so there is another way to simulate that taste. Yeah, you can use a little bit of liquid smoke. Um, I would start with one teaspoon and you could always add, I like to add in some hearty greens, like some chard or some mm -hmm. kale or some spinach. 
Uh, another thing you could add in would be barley or quinoa or even rice. If you have some leftover rice, you can toss the rice in, the, uh, in at the end mm -hmm. of your cooking. Yeah, I do that sometimes as a leftover. So when we have this leftover, mm -hmm. if I want to make it a little bit more hearty and filling, I'll throw in some brown rice that we have cooked. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I know, it looks amazing. It smells even better. Wow, I love the smell of thyme. I love the smell of the chipotle and the cumin, actually everything. <laughs> it all smells really good. Although it was making little Daisy sneeze. <laughs> yeah, she was sneezing. <laughs> it's been cooking for about 45 minutes. I usually let this simmer for about an hour, depending, like I said, how tender your piece were to begin with. Is it time to eat? Yes, it is. Oh boy. I know, it looks delicious, JP. I don't know if black eyed peas bring good luck, but they bring good vibes to my tummy. Me too. <laughs> Look how good this looks. Oh, man. Amelia, I'm such a lucky man. She's such an awesome cook. Oh, thank you. But so are you. JP's been making homemade bread and it is yes, delish. It is delicious. We've been having a hard time finding bread here during the quarantine. So I've been making our own. It's awesome. And we are going to share that in a future video. Yes. So hit the subscribe so you don't miss that. All right. But now we're going to dig in. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Wow. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. So much flavor. This bowl is hot though. I'm going to have to set it down. <laughs> mm. That is delicious. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning right. in. We'll see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.